Hello everyone, uh, Dion Swatch here again uh, for another edition of the Evian Electronics Power Supply Tutorials. Um, some of you guys may originally remember I was playing with the ADCs to build a simple 0 to 5 volt power supply um, which would allow you guys to pretty much um, do your, your, your sort of basic stuff. Um, let me just quickly move this back to where it should be. Uh, back to the main sheet. Let's remove this. Right, just to keep it simple and everything in one place. Let's just save that. Right, here we go, guys. What we've got over here is our Arduino completely separated. I've done the, the circuits in little logical sections so it's easy to follow. Like, for instance, the LCD you can see here, this is bus connections to LCD pins over there. You basically can tell it where to link to, etc. So these connections here would be physically connected here with wires. But for sakes of simplicity, I've left all the wiring out, otherwise this would be a whole lot of wires running all over the place. Two basic LM317 based power supplies with an on-off switching relays controlled via a tr switching transistor which would get the relay on signal from the Arduino. This does work, I have tested it on the breadboard but I still have a few little things to change, a couple of component values here and there which can be tweaked for better performance, a couple of output capacitors, things like that. Um, nothing too major. As it stands here this power supply would work and it does work. Okay, so here we have our two ADCs. One is changed to the secondary address, one is changed to the default, while well, is left as the default address. So we can use the same two uh, ACL, uh, SDA, ITC lines on the Arduino to control both DACs, digital to analogs, not ADC, sorry, digital to analog converters. These guys are connected to power and ground, and then obviously to SDA, SCL on the Arduino. Now DAC1 output feeds the adjust pin on the regulators directly. So this is where the limitation comes in. We can do 0 to 5 volts output from the DACs. Um, the regulator using that standard, uh, uh, what we know about them, the LM317, if we put 5 volts in here, we're going to get 6.25 volts out here. Okay. So theoretically, if we put 0 volts onto the DAC, we'll get 1.25 volts to 6.25 volts adjustable depending on where we put this DAC between 0 and 5 volts. This works, we will get an adjustable 1.25 to 6.25 volts output over here and it does happen. It works very well. In fact, if we are to power the circuit up, I've got the software pre-programmed to 2, 3 values, 3.3 and 5 volts. As soon as everything's ready, Bang, this transistor switches the relays on and then we've got our 3.3 volt and our 5 volt outputs all controlled by the source on the Arduino. Now you can have presets, you these buttons over here you can vary it, there's the actual voltage measurement, well theoretical actual voltage measurement, let's look at this one here, 5.00475, we can decrease this. And this guy here rounds off, so as soon as we drop below a certain threshold, you'll see he will drop to 4.98, 4.97, uh, there we go. So you see, so this is basically doing the actual voltage measurement directly onto the Arduino inputs, V out 1, V out 2. It's measuring these voltages directly between 0 and 5. For this reason, I've limited the software to limit the output to I think it's 3029 steps which will give us a 5 volt output on the outputs of the regulators so theoretically the, the DACs on are only putting out uh, 3.75 volts to get us our 5 volts uh, and that's where I've cut it in software now I decided you know what just to make this power supply a little bit more usable. I mean 0 to 5 volts is great for your logic and your Arduino testing and stuff like that. But what if you want to take it a step further? What if you want 0 to 20 volts or something like that as an output? What do you do? And this is why I've been working on a revision 5 of this very same circuit. So the, the basis is the same. The biggest difference being is that I've added an op-amp stage to the circuit. So 
there's obviously a few more components that we need to throw in here. Op amps, the op amps control resistors basically to set your gain. So now what we're doing is we're taking our DAC output 1, we're putting it into op amp 1, DAC output 2 into op amp 2. This op amp is then lifting this voltage output to a higher level. Now if we were to actually measure these voltages, we would actually see what they are, but I'm, I'm not going to worry too much about it. Basically what this guy is doing, it's taking the input voltage and it's amplifying it by a, a preset amount. Um, let's say we've had it set on gain of 10. It's not on 10 now, but let's say a gain of 10. And you put 1 volt in here, you will get 10 volts out. Yeah, 2 volts in, you'll get 20 volts out. You understand what I'm saying? Gain of 10. That is preset with the resistors, values, and stuff like that. And obviously your maximum is your VCC. <coughs> okay, so anyway, this is all set up now. Now these outputs, op amp 1 is now connected to the adjust pin and the output of op amp 2 to the adjust pin on uh, the second LM317 channel. Okay, now I've got one of them preset in the software to software step 4095, which is this top one over here. So op amp 1, I don't, these should be the other way around, but it doesn't matter. Op amp 1, DAC1 feeding it. DAC1 is set to 5 volts output, which is step 4095. So 5 volts in, and the output from op amp 2 is then being fed in, into, I mean, uh, yeah, well, op amp 1 is then being fed into um, the first LM317. So let's see what happens when we power up the simulation. <coughs> Alright, the circuit is now initialized and it's powered up, okay? If you have a look, the top one, like I said to you, is set on maximum, channel 1 is on the maximum okay it can't go any higher we have an output of what do we have here 28.5176 volts okay now obviously we can't input 28 volts into the analog to digital converter on the arduinos it'll only take 5 volts so what i've done is i've taken a 10k and a 2k and i've made a basic voltage divider <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. At 28.5176 volts, we're getting 4.75285 volts output over here. Bit of formulas in the software where we're calculating. And let's just bring that across here. Where we're calculating um, the value. So we read in the value, the analog read. Value times 5 divided by 1024. Then V in is V out. And then using a basic electronics formula to calculate what the actual voltage is. Um, <coughs> that's what's happening over here. This is then being fed back to our uh, Arduino measurement pins, ADC1, ADC2. Pretty much the same. The only difference is we've added this circuit in here to lift the voltage, and we've added this little, these two resistors over here as voltage dividers to get us a lower voltage for the Arduino to be able to read. Accuracy, very well. Very, 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 very good accuracy. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, this cough is bugging me. But as you can see, 28.5176, 28.51. And as we start bringing it down, sorry, we're reading this one here now. As you can see, we can adjust our voltages and stuff like that without any issues. Uh, bloody software is going a bit crazy on me over here. I think I've got too many things running up on the desktop over here. So let's power up again. This one is set to go to full voltage. This one is set to start at the bottom. Right. So let's go. This is the second output. Let's start lifting that. Just need to play a little bit with the values over here to get them reading it more accurately. But I think you're getting a basic understanding of how the circuit works. <coughs> you can actually put a 2K trimmer in the bottom over there so you can actually use that to align the voltage measurements from the Arduino. 
So now we've got 1.58427, volts. Okay, so that's it's working out pretty well. 28,5176, 28.51 volts. Let's bring this down. If this thing will actually respond now. For some reason, the software's gone a little bit glitchy over here, but that will be resolved. It actually does work. I don't know why that's giving us grief, but anyway. <coughs> Let's just uh, pause the simulation. bring our Arduino software in over here and let's just get them both to start at zero okay verify compile sketch as soon as that's done we can restart the, the simulation and then what we'd get is we get them both running at our 1.26 or whatever it is volts. Um, I am using precision low noise op amps just to make sure that things stay clean. Let's just see. Uh, bang! There we go. 1.26328. Right. Both of them. Now let's see if this guy will do it. What are you supposed to do? Yeah, he's functioning. I just need to fine tune that um, calibration over there, but we're getting the gist of it. <coughs> one point four three six, one point four four, four three six four four, rounding off. Okay, good enough. You know that's actually good enough for most intents and purposes. But you're getting the gist of the whole circuit, how it works, why it works. The it's it's a very simple complex. I'm going to actually uh, put all of this up on the blog um, and hopefully get you guys to build your own power supplies uh, or start experimenting with building your own power supplies. There's so many options out there guys, this is just one of many. You could take this, instead of having your steps of whatever point whatever, you could actually have this run through a bunch of presets like 3.3, 5, 9, 12. Um, instead of having all these in-between voltages, the decision is yours. You could have both if you like. There's so many options. You could replace these switches with a, a, a digital encoder, if you like. Um, the, the, the options are endless. This is just one of the options, and it works very well. So I'm happy you guys get out there and build. Uh, until next time, guys, good luck, and keep on inventing. Cheers for now.